Namo myo ho renge kyo, namo myo ho renge kyo, namo myo ho renge kyo. Hi everyone, thanks for being here. Thank you for your practice. I hope this finds you in good health and secure glasses. <sighs> Continuing with the threefold Lotus Dharma Sutra. Thereupon the world one, desiring to proclaim this teaching over again, spoke thus in verse. Though a man seeking the Buddha wisdom during 80 myriad kodas of nayutas of kalpas were to perform the five paramitas and during those kalpas give alms and offerings to buddhas, pratyaka buddhas and disciples, as well as to bodhisattvas, rare and precious food and drink, superior clothing and bed, bed furniture, monasteries built of sandalwood and adorned with gardens and groves, such alms as these, wonderful in variety, were he to maintain them through all those kalpas as meritorious gifts to the Buddha way. Moreover, though he were to keep the comportments purely, without flaw or fault, and seek the supreme way which all the Buddhas praise, or were he patiently to endure insult, stand firm in the stage of gentleness, and though deluded and malicious things came upon him, keep his mind undisturbed. Were he, by others, acceptors, filled with the utmost arrogance, sorry, I was going to mark something here, yeah, right there, um, filled with the utmost arrogance, to be scorned and distressed, yet able to bear even this? Or were he able to be diligent and zealous, ever strong in will and memory, and during measureless codis of, uh, of kalpas, with all his mind continue unremittingly, and during numberless kalpas, dwell in secluded places, whether resident or vagrant, and emptying sleep and ever concentrating his mind. Now you get that he's talking about whatever your life condition is, right? From a vagrant, yes, you too can. Of course, if you're a vagrant, you probably don't have a, well, you may be watching this on a phone, right? Um but from vagrant to rich man to everything in between, and women, of course. Were he by this means to be able to beget meditations and for 80 myriad codas of kalpas calmly remain in them with unperturbed mind, in other words, undistracted by samsara, were he maintaining this single-minded happiness, single-mindedness, single-mindedness again, willingly to speak the supreme, or to seek the supreme way, saying, I will attain all knowledge, right? This is what I keep saying. When you go to your mandala, people are constantly asking me, what should I be thinking? How should I empty my mind? Don't worry about any of that. Those are samsaric concerns. The mandala is designed, the daimoku is designed to lead those monkeys out of your mind. The monkey mind, right? Those errant thoughts simply focus on meeting Buddha, right? I will attain all knowledge. I will instantiate a Buddha mind. Focus on Myoho. I have all kinds of little cheat sheets on threefoldos.com. Penetrate, think of presence at the Butsudan, uh, the Daimoku links, uh, all kinds of ways to just get you focused on the characters Myo and Ho, Namo Myoho Renge Kyo, Myo, all potential, Ho instantiated, let me connect with Buddha. Hmm? That's all that should be on your mind. 
Don't think about other stuff or ways to get rid of other stuff because then that's other stuff. It's so simple, right? And go on to the utmost point of meditation, awakening, hmm? Were such a man for hundreds of thousands of myriads of codas of kalpas to perform such deeds of merit as those expounded above? Man, that's a pretty big list. Doing all of that, yet any good son or daughter who hearing me declare my, well, here we go again, the eternal life, the eternal, I hate that word, the, the, without beginning or end of the tathagata, life, accepts it but a single thought, this one's reward surpasses his. Do you understand what that means? That means if you are able to perform just as I told you, chanting, focusing on myoho, that itself with your eyes, your ears, your mouth, your body sensing, namo myoho renge kyo, namo myoho renge. Think about that. Because that is, I am here, I am present, I am paying attention, I am dedicated to myoho renge kyo, the experience of Buddhaness. That's what I'm sitting here for. That's what I'm focusing on. Right now, I want to instantiate Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Namu myoho renge kyo, namu myoho renge kyo. And what he's saying is even if just once you fuse with Gohan's own mind, you fuse with opening, you open your Buddha eye. Namu myoho renge kyo. Oh, I felt it. I'm feeling it. I'm in it. This is amazing. Even for just one thought, the reward that you gain, and I'm not talking about cash and prizes behind curtain number three, this experience that you will have of Buddha-ness will be more significant than all of the other practices he's, he's described of this person for nayutas of kalpas, right? Because it's one thing to work on something, but it's another thing to accomplish it, to manifest it, right? This is why I'm constantly reminding you, Buddhism, Buddhists do not worship. We do not pray and wait for something to come to us. It's built in. We don't worship, we manifest. Right? It's a huge, huge difference. And here Shakyamuni is saying, even if you just get it for a moment, that's beyond all of the other stuff. Because why do you think that is? Why do you think that is before I tell you? <laughs> Right? It's because no matter how much you do something, if your heart isn't in it, if your sincerity isn't in it, if your confidence isn't in it, it may to everyone else look as though, man, that, ga that, that gal has been doing this forever. She's so committed. But you don't know what's in her mind. The moment she looks upon or you look upon this mandala and you pierce into it with your mind to come back, right? It's a reflector. Environment always reflects. Nietzsche says mirror. What you're piercing is your gohanzan mind. And single-mindedly, so you can pierce it all day long. But if you don't know the goal, I don't know Buddha. I want to know Buddha. I want to know Buddha right now. I want to, I want to be in Buddha. 
with that kind of ichin in, let's use that word, conviction, confidence, that's when it'll happen. And that moment, that's everything. All the other stuff is performance. Get out of your own way. Get that samsaric ego out of your way. If anyone be entirely free from all doubts and misgivings, <laughs> isn't he saying what I've been saying? And in his deepest heart accepts it, but a moment, such shall be his or her reward. It's so clear to me. I want it to be clear to you. I'm sure Nitrin was cartwheeling through this, this ob obviousness, the obviousness of these teachings. And yet, talk about compassion, spent his life writing letters, explaining concepts, helping people to come to this understanding. Because we all have our own meandering mental things to resolve on our way to this aha moment, yes? I wish Renge for every single one who does. I wish if all you did was chant Namo Myoho Renge Kyo once, it would, poof, it would just happen. But we're stubborn creatures. That's the way we are. And that's why we have to chant more than once. Hmm? Yes, Namu Myo Renge Kyo is the essential practice, but it's called practice for a reason. It's not a magic pill. Hmm? If there be bodhisattvas who have followed good ways for innumerable kalpas and hear of my announcement of my of the Tathagata's eternal life. Oh, this is annoying. And I went through this book already. <laughs> but here it continues. Oh, we're gonna get this book's gonna be perfect by the time I'm done. Ooh, did I just make a cause? They will be able to receive it in resolve. Such men as these will bow their heads in receiving this sutra and say, may we in the future have long life to save all the living. How do you save all the living? Starts with you. You can't lead others if you don't experience. You can lead others at different levels of experience according to your level of experience. Hmm? So imagine if you have doubt and you're confused who you're going to be teaching. And I don't mean classroom, now children settle down. We teach because that's what we do. The reason humans evolved language was to express teaching. Teaching is what we do. Hmm? That's why in the Sang Sangye, everyone, we acknowledge everyone is our teacher. Of course, because humans are teachers. You may not be trying to teach anyone, but your actions, the way you comport yourself, is teaching others. You think about that. You may, you may think to yourself sometimes, not being a very good teacher right now. <laughs> right? But that's what we are. We are walking, talking, desire machines who teach. And Buddhism is about getting that right. Hmm? And just as the present world-honored one who, king of the Shakyas, on his wisdom terrace, raises the lion's roar, teaching the law without fear, because he has no doubts, so may we in the future ages 
honor, honored and received by all, when sitting on the Wisdom Terrace in like manner, tell of the duration of the Tathagata's life. This is our nature. This is our true nature. This is the true nature of all phenomena. <laughs> yeah, talk about getting rid of the ego. Mm. If there be any of profound spirit, pure and upright, learned and able to uphold the truth, who understand the meaning of the Buddha's words, such men as these will have no doubts about this teaching. And isn't that the central point? Why would you have doubt? Doubt, doubt is a monkey. Doubt is samsara. Doubt is, look over here, squirrel. Always something to entertain your thoughts. Your thoughts should be single-minded on awakening Buddha. Buddha eye, open it. Open that sucker. <laughs> Again, Ajita, he says. If anyone hears of the duration of the Tathagata's lifetime and apprehends its meaning, the merit obtained by this person will be beyond limit and he will advance to the supreme wisdom of Tathagata's. Buddhaness, Tathagataness. Hmm? How much more will this be the case with the one who is devoted to hearing this sutra or causes others to hear it? Causes others to hear it. What's fashion? What's a trend? Right? We have all kinds of words for being examples for others. We're teaching. Trending, trending is teaching. Fashion is teaching. Look what I'm wearing. Wow, I want to look cool like that. I want to wear that. Tur teaching, learning. It's a transfer of knowledge. Isn't that what teaching is? A transfer of experience. You want to teach others how to attain Buddhahood? Attain Buddhahood. Namo myoho renge kyo. You may teach somebody Namu Myoho Renge Kyo and they may connect before you do because their path is different. Don't be jealous. Be awed. Be inspired because everything's about Buddhahood. Yeah. Or if he himself keeps it or causes others to keep it. Or he himself copies it or causes others to copy it. All of these are meritorious acts, right? Or with flowers, incense, garlands, banners, flags, silk canopies, and lamps of fragrant oil. And ghee pays homage to the sutra. All actions given to the single-minded practice of awakening the Buddha eye, opening the Buddha eye, everything directed to the same goal. This man's merit will be infinite and boundless and able to bring forth perfect knowledge, the experience of Buddhahood or Anuttara Samyak Sambodaya. Yeah? Ajita, if any good son or daughter, hearing of my declaration of the duration of my, the Tathagata's lifetime, accepts and discerns it in her innermost heart, such a, a one will see the Buddha always on Mount Griratkuta or Vulture Peak. You will experience the ceremony in the sky. That's what that says. Surrounded by a host of great bodhisattvas and shravakas and teaching the law. Right? Presence at the Buddhadana. Watch that video. And he will see this Saha world whose land is lapis lazuli, plain and level, its eight roads marked off with Jambundanda, the river of honey containing gold, gold lined with jeweled trees, 
It has towers, halls, and galleries, all made of jewels, in which dwell together its bodhisattva host. If anyone is able to so to behold, you may know that this is the sign of profound resolve and discernment. Confidence. And again, if anyone, after the extinction of the Tathagata, here's this sutra, because the Tathagata is never extinct. Shakyamuni will be, but not the Tathagata, right? It's a fundamental of the cosmos. It's the engine of life. And does not defame, but rejoices over it, you may know that this has had, he has had the sign of deep resolve and discernment. Confidence. How much more the one who reads and recites, receives and keeps it, this man carries the Tathagata on his head. Ajita, such a good son or good daughter, needs no more erect stupas, temples, or monasteries for me nor make offerings of the four requisites to the monks. Because ultimately, as Nietzsche points out, we are the stupa. We are the treasure tower. For what reason? Because this good son or good daughter who receives and keeps, reads and recites this sutra has already erected stupas. Built monasteries and made offerings to the monks. That is to say, he has erected for the Buddha's relics stupas of the precious seven jewels, high and broad, and tapering up to the Brahma heaven, hung with flags and canopies and precious bells, and with flowers, perfumes, garlands, sandal powders, unguents, incense, drums, instruments, pipes, flutes, harps, all kinds of dances and plays, singing and lauding with wondrous notes. He has already made these offerings for innumerable thousands of myriads of kodas of kalpas. You ever seen a woman put on makeup? Ajita. If anyone after my extinction hears this sutra and is able to either receive and keep or himself copy or cause others to copy, namo myo he has already erected monasteries and built red sandalwood temples of the 32 shrines, tall as eight tala trees, lofty, spacious, splendid, in which abide hundreds, thousands of bhikshus. This is about the mind. Never forget that. Adorned also with gardens, groves, and bathing pools, promenades, and meditation cells, right? This is the Buddha land. This is the experience of Buddhaness. With clothing, victuals, bedding, medicaments, and all aids to pleasure provided to the full therein, such monasteries and such numbers of temples, hundreds of thousands of myriads of kodas, countless in their number, he has here in my presence offered to me and my bhikshus. By example, by accomplishing, opening our Buddha eye, we resonate, we radiate into our environs the life condition that we instantiate, manifest. Therefore, I say, if anyone after my extinction of the Tathagata receives and keeps, reads and recites, teaches it to others, either himself copies it or causes others to copy it, and pays homage to the sutra, he need no longer erect stupas and temples or build monasteries and make offerings to the monks. How much less he who is able to keep this sutra and add thereto almsgiving, morality, forbearance, zeal, single-mindedly, right? Zeal, concentration, and wisdom. His merit will be most excellent, infinite, and boundless, even as space, which, east, west, south, and north, the four intermediate directions, the zenith and the nadir, is infinite and boundless. 
so also the merit of this person will be infinite and boundless, and he or she will speedily reach perfect knowledge. Anuttara Samyak Sambodai. Tathagataness, Buddhaness. It's really Buddhaness. Because Tathagataness is t without time. But our Saha world, the manifestation of human being with a sentient mind, allows us to experience via another word we label that Buddha, right? One is the thing itself, one is the experience of the thing itself. Right? Because we have to have words for everything. <laughs> if anyone reads and recites, receives and keeps this sutra, teaches it to others, other people, or himself copies it or causes others to copy it, moreover, is able to erect kaitas, kaitas, and build monasteries and to serve and extol the Shravaka monks and also with hundreds of thousands of myriads of codas of ways of extolling, extols the merits of the bodhisattvas. Also, if he to other people with various reasonings according to its meaning expounds this law flower dharma sutra. Again, if he is able to keep the comportments in purity amicable to dwell with the gentle, to endure insult without anger, to be firm in will and thought, ever to value meditation, to attain profound concentration zealously and boldly, to support the good, to be clever and wise in ably answering difficult questions. Ajita again. If after my extinction there be good sons and good daughters who receive and keep, read and recite this sutra, who possess such excellent merits as these, you should know that those people have proceeded toward the Wisdom Terrace and are near perfect enlightenment, sitting under the tree of enlightenment. Ajita, wherever those good sons or good daughters sit or stand or walk in that place, you should erect a kaitya. All universal realms of influence and men should pay homage to it as a stupa of the relics of the Buddha. Do you understand what he just said? If you practice this Myoho Renge Kyo diligently, cause others to hear of it and practice it, then kaityas or stupas should be erected for you as relics of the Buddha. Because we're all, many in body, one in mind, Buddha. Nietzsche has provided this wonderful simile for us. He's provided us the perfect mandala, a representation of this very ceremony in the air, right? The tower with seven jewels, which is a reflection of you. Keeps it in a stupa, butsadan protected an honorable place of protecting that which is most precious, our opening Buddha eye, our Gohonzon gateway, yeah? To open that Buddha eye. It's all there in our altar. That's why it exists. We have so many tools to make this easy. Thereupon, the world-honored one desiring to proclaim this teaching over again spoke thus in verse. If anyone after my extinction is able to respectfully keep this sutra, this man's happiness will be infinite as is above explained. Such a one will have made perfectly all kinds of offerings and erected stupas for relics adorned with the precious seven jewels, you can see the appendix here for more on these. With banner towers, high and broad, tapering up to the Brahma heaven, with thousands of myriads of codas of gem bells, stirred by the wind to beautiful music, 
For innumerable kalpas, he will have paid homage to these stupas with flowers, incense, and garlands, with celestial garments and playing of music, with perfumed oil and ghee lamps burning and illuminating all around. This is a really beautiful scene he keeps talking about, isn't it? In the deluded and malicious ages of the law's decay, he who can keep this sutra will have, as above shown, perfectly made all kinds of offerings. If anyone can keep this sutra, it will be as if the Buddha were present. In actuality. Yeah. And he, with ox head sandalwood, built monasteries to serve him, consisting of 32 halls, eight tala trees in height, with superior food and fine garments, beds and complete, with abodes for hundreds of thousands, with gardens, groves, and bathing pools, with walks and meditation cells, all beautifully adorned. These are all your homes, with butsudans and mandalas in them. If anyone has the mind of resolve and discernment, receives, keeps, reads, recites, and copies, or moreover causes others to copy, and pays homage to the sutra, strewing flowers, incense, and sandal powder, and uses perfumed oil of sumana and kapaka tree and the atumutaka plant for constant burning you know, incense, he who pays such homage to it will obtain infinite merit. Just as space is boundless, so will it be with his merits. When you chant Namo Myo Renge Kyo, you experience the cosmos. There is no limit, right? Can you describe potential? Not without exiting it. Because everything is potential, the engine of life. How much more with one who keeps this sutra, gives alms and keeps the comportments, is long-suffering and delights in meditation, long-suffering being living in this Saha world, right? And taking all of the ignorance that it has to offer without Taking it personally because we don't take offense. Offense is everywhere, but offense is ignorance. We want to heal that ignorance. We don't take it. It's not mine, right? Not irascible, nor speaking ill, reverent to kaitas and sanctuaries, humble toward the big shoes, far removed from haughtiness, ever pondering on wisdom, not angry when asked about difficulties, but compli uh, compliantly explaining them. If he is able to do these deeds, his merits cannot be estimated. If one meets such a law teacher who has accomplished such virtues, let him strew transcendent flowers upon him, cover him with transcendent clothing, and salute him by bowing to his feet with a mind as if thinking of the Buddha, because that's exactly what we're doing, right? Meet others as Buddha. Moreover, let him reflect thus. Soon he will be going to the Bodhi tree to achieve perfection and effortlessness, widely benefiting universal realms of influence in men. Wherever he dwells and stays, walks, sits, or lies, or teaches but a stanza of this sutra, in that place, erect a stupa, adorn it, and make it beautiful, and in all ways pay homage to it. When a Buddha son dwells in such a place, it means that the Buddha himself is using it, and ever abides in it, walking or sitting or lying down. This is all about respect, respectful comportment, seeing all beings as potential Buddhas, treating them as Buddhas. Hmm? And I have an annotation here. And just as we were told in the Virmalakirti Sutra, the world appears to us as our mind state reflects upon it. 
so too does our world, our land, quote unquote, completely change as does our mind state improves. As we attain our Buddha mind, our land is transformed into the Buddha land of fully supporting our potential. And there it is in a nutshell. The goal of Buddhism and Buddhist practice. This is what Siddhartha Gautama set out to figure out. He found it, he achieved it, and he taught it for the rest of his life. And there it is in a nutshell. Lotus Sutra. The final, fully articulated, ultimate teaching of Shakyamuni Buddha. And thank you, Nichiren, for giving us such amazing tools to quickly realize this very teaching. There's no reason not to do it, except maybe fear. Oh, I hope you don't have fear. Namo Myorengeko, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for all of your support at whatever level, whether it's just liking and subscribing, because that's all you can do right now. That's a bodhisattva act also. It helps grow the sangha, so thank you. And all the links in the description, there are ways to support by uh, using the bookstore, purchasing books, um, uh, mandala. Other than that, it's a lot of resources. Threefoldlotus.com has a lot of free resources. The podcasts are free. Patrons on Patreon and PayPal. Thank you so much. We all appreciate your support. Namo Myo Please take care of your health. And we start a new chapter in the next video. I'll see you then, okay? Bye for now.